and you will hear that somebody did not apply for a job and yet they called him because thou anointest my head with oil but i see the results of my cup you don't anoint my cup you anoint my head but it's my cup that runs over listen believe me sometimes i wish i have the liberty to share testimonies but in many regards it will sound like arrogance i remember years ago a man of god prayed a prayer for me i met that man and i greeted him and i prayed an elderly man and he just said a prayer i i i i, I was it, it took a long time to say amen because he laid hands on me and he said apostle he said may god create a problem that only you can solve i said ah no why i'm somebody who is for the body i don't like all these kinds of things how can a man pray that kind of prayer you've heard my story that i was in just many years ago and i went to go and buy sugar cane listen true story and there were two old women who were trying to buy i think sugar cane it was not more than 100 naira i pleaded with them i said you are my parents i'm your child please give me the privilege of paying for you they said no i said let me pay and when i paid they began to bless me and one of the women blessed me in hausa she said my son forever walk upon gold men are not just made by circumstances there are spiritual investments that men carry I've shared with you my stories of my encounters with the mantles upon God's generals. I don't just come and make empty noise. No. Now you understand what happened when Jesus appeared to me. I've shared with you my story. When he appeared to me, he never gave me anything physical, but he stretched his hands and light from the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, that light entered into me, that surge of power and that sort of grace please help them i came here tonight to redefine inheritance for you inheritance is not cars and houses no that is the least inheritance is not just estates you have not helped your son let me tell you if the only thing you give him is a car and a house armed robbers can steal the car they can demolish the house but can you give something that cannot rust cannot be destroyed hear me he gave the remaining children gifts but he gave Isaac everything he had and yet there was no Isaac carrying a truckload calling a truck there are many young people who have been praying for their parents to die Lord let them die so I can get the two bedroom flat don't insult your destiny what was upon your father that made him to never beg that's what you should look for not three bedroom flats not two bedroom flats there are shamefully i say it with all due respect there are siblings and family members fighting for years and decades over mundane properties not knowing that if you receive what made the men themselves you can change the tides there are people today who do not see eyeball to eyeball this guy is for me this house is for me that is the least of it we're about to pray i came tonight full of the spirit i want to release something from my spirit believe me help them honestly i came from the depth of my spirit that something will be placed upon your head that will so turn your life around We're wrapping up 
two keys for receiving from fathers let me give you two biblical keys you want to receive from a father a spiritual father a physical father a financial father a political father any kind of father there are two keys number one the first key that controls receiving from fathers is honor the first key you will never this is why our generation of young men do not succeed because we have institutionalized this honor we see it as a thing of pride young people who have not produced anything they've not raised anybody they've not changed any life but we can sit down and mark the scripts of fathers and dare to criticize every father deserves your honor even if you see their nakedness the bible says noah's sons they saw their nakedness and one called his brothers to come and laugh even though he was drunk when he got up he knew they were looking at him there are some things that are there and the other one moved backwards and covered him and he got up and cursed some of the sons two keys number one honor malachi chapter one we'll read six to eight fire is going to fall here right now malachi chapter one from verse six to eight it says a son honored his father and a servant his master if then i be a father where is my honor and if i be a master where is my fear saith the lord god of hosts O priest that despise my name and ye say wherein have we despised your name we're reading to eight ye offer polluted bread upon my altar and ye say wherein have we polluted thee in that ye say the table of the lord is contemptible verse eight and if ye shall offer the blind for sacrifice is it not evil and if ye offer the lame and the sick is it not evil offer it now to your governor will it be pleased with thee or accept thy person say the lord of hosts can i tell you this do you know why jacob isaac already had flocks but he said the one i want to eat is the one you go and get not the one at the back of the house why would he have flocks and herds and now tell his son carry your weapons of war i want the one that came from your effort place value on it let me eat let your honor for me turn to joy because that blessing from my spirit is only released through joy there are many children today who are carrying curses from their parents not demons because they've spent their lives causing pain to their parents sometimes we ship all kinds of things in the name of westernization and you see children insult their parents insult any kind of person and I, I, i'm saying this respectfully speaking young people whether in this country or across africa this is one of the mysteries behind the hard life of young people we have no honor at all for parents not just physical parents anybody can get up and just insult anybody no you will carry courses in successions We read it already genesis 27 when you read from verse 3 and 4 he said make me venison such that i love make me venison from your weapons of war oh no it's not just about giving money or giving seeds but let me tell you this as a person and as a principal you will never see me go and stand before any of our fathers of faith in this nation or any of any great mentor or father whether in business whether in whatever area I won't sit down and say I'm a great man Apostle Joshua Selman I understand this law when I honor I honor from the depth of my heart there are many pastors today you can lie down and hold the legs of a man of God and never receive jack because it comes through honor you can even kneel down 
and still be standing up in your heart it's not about all of this pretense and this this hypocrisy people do genuine heartfelt honor is the reason why you see great people hardly reproduce themselves everything God gives a great man it is supposed to be for everyone who is interested but very few people do you know that there are many homes like I told you the biological children of the man and his wife don't seem to carry their grace and then you will see one stranger who maybe came to squat the person who communicates honor is the one who carries the mantle learn it from tonight let honor be a culture husbands honor your wives you don't honor your wife your prayer will not be answered the Bible said that wives honor your husbands don't say he looked for me what does that mean children honor your parents bring in all this westernization and you will punish your future in a way that you cannot imagine parents also respectfully speaking honor your children because there are things through their life that you may not have seen that God is revealing help this woman I'm seeing oil coming on her The first key for receiving from fathers. Fathers here does not just mean men alone. Those who have gone ahead is honor. Genuine honor. How many pastors today talk about their leaders, their overseers, their, they gossip about them, tear them down and then come up. Yes, sir. How are you, sir? That's the reason why no impartation works because the honor is not genuine. How many business people how many people in corporations they sit down and tear their superiors insult them and talk all kinds of things and see them ah ceo sir god bless you he can cut cake for you and you can eat but that is it but there can be others who will say look i know this man is not perfect but i choose to honor him whatever granted him grace to come to abuja here and in five years he has become this i stand with understanding and I know and one day he can look at you and say I bless you or he will say let me tell you a story in 1971 my father died in 1972 my mother died in 1973 all my helpers died so how did you become great that is what is leading you to and a two-hour conversation will become a six-hour conversation in that office and at the end of it he will say I met one missionary who just said a prayer and I want to pray that prayer for you sometimes you see our father in the Lord that is you he will ask everybody to stand up see just because people don't tell you anointings are like addresses you can know where they came from when you see extraordinary results happening for people please let me tell you this look beyond the physical frame there are people who is a combination of strange mantles and anointings upon their heads. Hallelujah. When Papa Idahosa was alive, according to God's servant, Bishop Oedeko, he would tell you that one time he came to him and delivered something and he gave him an opportunity to pick some money and he said no if I remember correctly he said no 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 what I want is that blessing and he told him kneel down he said from tonight I impart upon you the grace of on time that before any need arises the answer comes and he received it when God grant me the grace and the privilege to lie down and pray alone in daddy Joe's prayer room I was not praying and saying God bless me give me tea give me bread I will be stupid to pray that kind of prayer I laid down there and one of the things I prayed I said Lord the covenant of answered prayer of many fathers who have gone that you have placed upon this man that he can speak casually and shift the climate of nations may that same grace come upon me I shared with you my story when we went to equity state and I saw people dying at 130 something, 140 something, 150 something. I said, No, there has to be a grace here. When we were done preaching years ago, 
I now came back and we stopped at a house where someone 136 he just died I said please look for the oldest man here so that we can receive this grace for long life there were hardly people there who could speak English eventually we got somebody who could speak limited English and they took us to one man old man and we said we are men of God we just want him to speak over our lives and he looked at me and smiled and said kneel down those who carry this thing know they have it all let me tell you those who carry it they know they have it you don't stand before people as colleagues and receive mantles no mantles don't honor don't don't respond to colleague mentality oh I used to know this one And as they prayed, I felt like a crown was being put upon my head. I now honored him, gave him a seed. And when we were going to go and enter the car, thanking the women who we asked initially, I just saw one of the women and they said that was the wife of this senior, um, the man of God, this veteran that had gone. They now, do you know that the woman was in her hundreds and yet she was standing strong, no stick, no nothing. I said what is this I said let's go back home if he's dead she's still alive in him two have become one the woman tapped me and said come she opened the room and started showing me the pictures that was the wife of his youth I hope you know those days they used to marry as teenagers that woman had stayed with him till his final days and then I said since this man is dead and he died serving the Lord they should tell her that please they've prayed for us but I want prayer from her the woman said I should kneel down and she removed both of her shoes she stood on barefoot and prayed for more than 15 minutes in Yoruba I don't know what she was saying all I know is that there was a mantle I returned with speed to Zaria and I said my people I came with an anointing stand up let me release something upon you first hear me your possibilities are defined by the mantles that are upon you one day a man of God prayed for me and he said son because of this apostolic grace upon your life I impart upon you I never knew there was such a grace he said I impart upon you the kingmaker anointing you've heard me say it Kingmakers never become the kings themselves, but they can enthrone and dethrone kings. So you can stand and speak over an ordinary man and say, may God lift you. And that grace will defy anything and place that person there. It's a grace. Number one, honor. Number two, service slash support. The second key for receiving from fathers is there must be a track record of service or supporting what they represent genesis 30 when you read from verse 26 to 30 genesis 30 let's read very quickly we're about to pray give me my wives he said jacob now in the house of Laban, and my children for whom i have served thee and let me go for thou knowest my service which i have done unto you next verse and Laban said unto him listen carefully pray thee I pray thee if I have found favor in thine eyes tarry ye for I have learned by experience that the Lord had blessed me for thy sake Isaac went to the house of Laban and turned things around and he said appoint me my wages keep the scripture there and I will give it we're reading to 30 29 and he said unto him Thou knowest how I have served thee and how thy cattle was with me. 30. Hmm. For it was little which thou hast before I came and it is now increased unto a multitude. And the Lord had blessed thee since my coming. And now when shall I provide for my own household also? Listen. When you carry mantles upon your head, there are people who will give you jobs not because of any physical effort like Laban 
they would have studied that anywhere this man sits down have you noticed that this man came into this business have you noticed that this man got a job into this parastatal and things began to change it is not always about physical work read your bible the spiritual climates that you carry can define possibilities in your life so you can hear people come and give you testimonies here they are not stage managing it we fear god how does someone just come and sit down and then by a week later his life just changes the same way your life too is about to change this night redefining inheritance now you know what an inheritance is now let me tell you this the final thing I'll tell you is this fans don't receive inheritance supporters don't receive inheritance inheritance is for those who are connected genuinely by blood by covenant by revelation let me repeat inheritance is for those who are connected genuinely by blood by covenant by revelation only a shoe will reign forever to his kingdom there'll be no end hear me I'm about to pray please believe me when I tell you life does not have to be this hard it is the bankruptcy of something on your head you have not received some of you probably if you've been part of this vision for up to one year and your life is not producing any results check your life there is something you are missing believe me believe me there is the covenant of his presence that can bring you've heard me say it that i entered a covenant with god that i would never meet a person twice for that person's life to change you cannot come if you come to sit down here as a fan unfortunately or supporters club or well wishers it has to be a covenant revelation lord i believe lord i believe that something can come upon my life in spite of my background my lowly estate I believe that this wealth and finance thing can be settled once and for all I believe you can, you are the God of portions you can give me portions even in a strange land I believe as a man of God that something can step upon my life and ministry will no longer be a desert land I believe as a politician that I can carry a mantle that can fight for me at the gates. In the next two minutes, I'm going to allow you with the Lord. Every dimension that you need to step into, I will leave you in prayer for the next two minutes. Please, I want you to cry from the depth of your heart. For some of us, it's poverty you need to end once and for all, for God's sake. For some of us is weakness and limitation politicians this may be your chance to access superior grace that produces results businessmen here can be your chance to rise there are young men and young women saying apostle physically speaking i don't have any advantage but the god of heaven can help you pray our global family following online pray in the name of Jesus
Anointings have been given to the church. Mandates have been given to the church. For the kings to be born, the mantles to return. Now hear me please, listen, listen, please listen, listen. You've heard people come and stand here and everybody will tell you they listen to this message, this grace called favor. I told you my story, how that Esther anointing and that favor came upon my life for some reason it is one of the hardest graces upon my life that I've seen people receive I don't know why it's easy for people to receive the prophetic receive the healing anointing but I don't know what is it about this mantle for favor that has been very difficult and yet I submit to you by God that if you do not access the genuine anointing help them please the grace for favor there are many things you cannot do in your life this world is a cruel and a wicked world i would never be able to do what god is doing across the globe today outside of the favor of god as i will tell you there are many things i do not know I'm a student myself I learn and continue to learn I learn from the Holy Spirit I learn from Scripture I learn from our fathers I learn from people with proven track record but I can tell you one thing that I understand I understand the dynamics of favor believe me when I tell you I know what it takes to compel systems and structures to open for you among the many graces you may desire as I give you one minute again to pray I want you to cry for this grace called favor Lord let it come upon my life by your mercy
power of the Holy 